Welcome to Hurricane Homestead. Today, we're going to be making a compost sieve. One of the things that I like most here on the homestead is when we have a problem or a need, it's coming up with a good solution from right here on the property. Instead of going to the store and buying something, we have plenty of materials here. We could probably make it ourselves. We need a way to sift through our compost and dirt, pull out any large rocks or large bits of material that haven't quite broken down yet. I don't have a compost sieve, so instead of going to the store and buying one, I'm going to go ahead and make some out of some scrap lumber that I've got and some old wire screen. Now this is a piece of lumber that I milled up with my chainsaw mill. Wasn't really going to use it for anything, I was just mainly seeing how the chainsaw mill worked. But I think this will be perfect for what we're trying to accomplish. We'll cut this down to some manageable pieces, attach the uh, hardware cloth to it, and then see if that'll work well to make that sieve. I don't have a lot of material here to work with, so what I'm thinking is we'll just cut one and a half to two inch sections for the long piece, and then we'll use the shorter piece to cut the sides. Set that to about an inch and a half. Raise that up so it's just about a half an inch up above the board. And turn it on. Now that we've got a bunch of our one and a half inch boards cut up, we're going to see how much material we actually have to work with, cut out some of this rot. That one seems completely good. This one, however, is not. So we can probably get to about 38 inches on that. Now this one is definitely the worst of the two, but it looks like maybe we can get about to there. Let's see how much that, that is. About 23 inches. Now I don't exactly have an entire plan in mind. I just know what it is that I need and I'm kind of figuring out along the way what I think will work to get me there. So now that we have all of our pieces cut to the size that we need, go ahead and see if we can figure out how to start putting it together. So what I'm thinking here is we'll go ahead and attach it, well, bit. If we do it that way, it'll give us a little bit more width, be able to have a little bit more material in there. The other part of what we got going on with this, we're going to need some old hardware cloth. Get a rough estimate of what we'll need and cut it down to size. All we need to do is just tack it down in a few places and then we can uh, trim it up. I'll just work from one end to the other to keep it as tight as possible. When I'm stapling, I'm stapling diagonally across the little wire frame. That way it's got as much surface area pushing on that wire as it can. Now it would probably work 
just like this for what we're needing. Just grab it and throw some dirt in it and sift it around. But I have an idea. So like I said, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here, but I think that this would be nice if it had some kind of handles on it. So I have some scrap one by material that we can use. Just kind of frame it in, raise the edge up a little bit higher so we can have more material and that'll actually hold this hardware cloth in a little bit better. That way it won't be pulling on the staples. The staples will just be holding the hardware cloth material in place. These two side pieces, these two end pieces, measure, try to get this about centered, five inches, five inches. And there we have it. A quick, easy, cheap solution. Didn't have to go to the store. Didn't have to buy any parts. All came off a of scrap that we weren't even using here on the homestead. That'll work perfect.